Hi, welcome to CVEN 305. My name is Arun Srinivasa and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to find deflections, moments and things like that for the beam that is shown here, which is a, a, a two meter long beam with a force of four kilonewtons applied to the center of the beam. One end of the beam is clamped and the other end of the beam is uh, simply supported. So one end of the beam is clamped, the other end of the beam is simply supported and the properties of the beam are Young's modulus is E and cross sectional sectional moment of area is I. Okay, so what we want to do is find the deflection along the beam. We are going to do it by the integration method. It's a very straightforward thing. It has many steps, but the procedure is very simple. So first step. The first step we do is we draw the free body diagram of the beam. It's always a useful thing to do uh, because it enables us to think about the beam carefully. So here is the beam. Okay. And I am going to draw the unknown forces here. And this will be AY. This will be called CY. I will tell you why in a second. And this, there is a moment here. M A and then there is an external force in the middle of the beam which is 4 kilonewtons. Okay, so um, the points are labeled A, B and C. Here is the x-axis, here is the y-axis. Okay, it's always good to it's always good to mark these things because it will save us a lot of time. So there are two points that I want you to notice. One is only concentrated loads. Now this is good for us because it makes our life very easy. So we can actually do the shear force and bending moment calculations for this very easily. The second thing is, notice that there are three unknowns. Reactions or constraint forces. Which are AY, BY and MA. But we will get only two equations. Summation of all the moments must be zero. Summation of all the forces in the y direction must be zero. Summation of all the forces in the x direction must be zero does not give us anything. So this is a statically indeterminate beam. So, in a typical textbook, they make a big deal out of all the statically determinate versus statically indeterminate. All it means really is that you just have to wait till the very end before you can find these constants. If it is a statically determinate beam, you can find these constants MA, AY and CY up front. If it is a statically indeterminate beam, you have to wait till the very end and you have to do some algebra to find the constants. Otherwise, there is no difference. Okay, So, it is not such a big deal. So, do not worry about it. Okay, so what we are going to do is because it's concentrated loads, it's actually fairly easy for us to 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 do all the calculations. But let me remind you of our sign conventions. So on this phase, shear force this way is positive, bending moment m of x, v of x are positive like that. External loads forces Fi are positive downwards, moments Mi are positive counterclockwise. Okay, remember those things because we will need it. Okay, so what are we? So, what we do is as usual, I am going to draw a little table to show the different sections. So, we have two sections in the beam. 
the first section is the section AB, the second section is the section BC. So we will do these two things separately. So we are going to do first section AB. That means 0 less than or equal to x less than 1. Now, since it's only concentrated forces, it's actually very easy to write down the shear force, which is equal to summation, negative summation of all the forces up to x, taking care of the signs. So, let us see. For x lying between, uh, for 0 less than x less than 1, I have V equals negative. The only force which is up to x in the section AB is this AY. And it's pointing up, so it will be minus AY. So that will be AY. How about in the next section? How about in the section 1 less than or equal to x less than 2? So the, there are now two forces. One is AY, the other one is 4 kilonewtons. Right? So I'm going to write this as V equals minus minus Ay minus 4 kilonewtons, which is Ay minus 4. The reason why I am doing this, this painfully is that we make a lot of sign errors. I also make sign errors and I want you to be very careful about it. Notice how I entered the data so that you can see where the signs come in. Okay? Now, how about for the bending moments? m equals v times x. For concentrated loads, this is very, very simple. That's why we like it. We don't have to do much. Plus, summation of fi xi up to x minus mi. Okay? Notice, this is this way positive. That's that way positive. So, let's look at our picture and see between a and b. What are the things that are out there between A and B? So if I go up here, you will see between A and B in this section, the only force that's there is Ay. The value of x where Ay is acting is 0. So the summation of Fi xi is 0. So this will give me Ay times x that is from here plus Ay times 0, uh, sorry, minus Ay times 0 minus minus ma. I want you to notice this sign business. So this is minus ay because ay is pointing up. This one is ayx because it comes from here. So this total thing is ayx plus ma. How about the next one? I will get from here I will get ay minus 4x plus 4 times 1. What is that 4 times 1? That's 4 times xb. xb is 1. So that's where I got that. Then minus minus ma, which turns out to be ay minus 4 times x plus ma plus 4. That was easy, right? There's nothing to it other than the signs. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to calculate theta of x, which is now I'm going to switch over to integration. Up to now it wrote down directly. Now theta of x is integral m over e i dx plus constant. And we'll have different constants for the different regions. And the last one is y of x is integral theta dx plus constant. And we have to choose different constants, so be careful about this, okay? So, let us see. Here, m is this. So, theta will be ay x squared over 2 plus m a x plus c1. This one gives theta equals ay minus 4 times x squared over 2. Sorry, I forgot the ei. E i plus m a plus 4 x over e i plus c 2. 
You see what I did? I just integrated this. That's all I did. Then integrate this again and you will get theta. So I will get theta of x. So sorry, I will get displacement y of x is integrate this again. I will get ay x cubed over 6 ei plus ma x squared over 2 ei plus c1 x. c2 is already taken, so I have to put c3. This is equal to ay minus 4 x cubed over 6 ei plus ma plus 4 x squared over 2 ei plus c2 x c3 is already taken so I have to put c4 that's it so notice that if you look at the displacement 